It was just unreal. Like it didn't feel real when they said I had a large mass in my brain. At just 24 years old, Sarah Sand got earth shattering news. She had a cancerous tumor in her brain that needed to be removed. Once in a while I get emotional about it, but for the most part it's kind of just become my life and I just live with it. It's that kind of attitude that's gotten her through and her team at Henry Ford Health, who she trusted to do what's called an awake craniotomy, essentially brain surgery she has to be awake for. They were all so great keeping me calm and getting me through it and they were talking to me and making jokes during it while I was awake. So. They got me through it. The surgery, a success, but she needed follow up radiation and chemotherapy. And for this condition, there's no cure. Navigating which treatment to do when is the easy part. The hard part is guiding someone like Sarah to maintain control of their life. Neuro-oncologist Dr. James Snyder, one of the docs at Henry Ford Health. He'll reunite with Sarah and hundreds of other brain cancer patients this Sunday at Head for the Cure, a fundraising event and walk on Belle Isle. What's really cool for us is to see, to meet our patients outside of the, the very serious enclosure of that clinic space and meet their families and see their kids. Sunday on 9-11, it will be three years since I had the surgery. Head for the Cure raises funds for clinical trials and research to continue studying brain cancer to benefit survivors like Sarah. Just try to stay positive and hopeful that they'll find more treatments or a cure. I'll be the MC for Sunday's event out on Belle Isle. It starts at 8 in the morning. There's still time to come. We'll put all the information on how to register and donate at fox2detroit.com. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.